Why did you do it? <laughs> Why did I do it? Do you even realize the mess you've made? Answer me! Oblivious. Are you listening to me? Yes, 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 yes. I heard you. Why did I do it? But you know, I've done quite a lot today. I did this, I did that. I went this and that. So be specific. 845 days sober. Just to flush it back down the shitter. I thought I buried you away for good. You don't rid of me. Like a cold or your mom's old jersey. We're stuck together through fucking thick and thin, man. As much as I hate it, it's me and you till the bitter end. Ah, oh, you're a fucking cancer. And you are lifeless, colorless and stale. <laughs> you are fucking boring. How we get here anyway? Well, of course you don't remember. What? I blacked out. I came home from work and the phone rang. Hello? Yes, speaking? Where's Stephanie? So, you going to do it? I know you're thinking about it. What the fuck? Relax. Kuna ma fucking tada. Yes, yes, good. <sighs> Rough day, eh? You know, there's something that can make this all disappear. Don't listen to him. What the fuck? Is, is this real? I don't know. Pinch yourself. You don't need to do this anymore. Not after all this time. You, you haven't touched a drink or a drug in, in almost three years. <laughs> Fucking lunatic this one, isn't he? Listen, man. You've earned this. There couldn't be a more perfect time than now. And this is too much pain for you to carry, man. Stephanie's dead. She's gone. Nobody, nobody should have to carry this alone. But this guy right here, my dear friend, Charlie, he can solve all your problems. You know he's going to soothe your pain your cold, shivering bones rattling inside, but he will warm you up real good. Like you're sitting on the sands of a tropical island and the sun shines right through your skin to the cold, achy parts of your bones and shoots fucking sun rays right up your spine, hmm? That feels good, doesn't it? Just do it. Don't even think about it. World's over now, man. There's no reason, there's no rhyme. 
It's fucking pointless. It's pointless even arguing about this. Peace and order, it's run its course. I let it go on for some time, but it's over now. Peace and order is in the past, and I died with her a long time ago. It's time to come home now, my friend. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. He's only telling you what you want to hear, man. It, you're in shock. You're in pain. It happens with everyone. She's... she's gone. Yep. And I'm guessing I... Yep. So this is his body. Yep. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. It feels good to be back. <laughs> I feel like your heart's been ripped out of your chest, huh? I don't have a fucking heart. Well, you do now. You feel that pain? That pain's called grief, my friend. Why did you do it? I'm sorry? Don't apologize. <laughs> Just tell me why you fucking did it. You know, you're not so innocent in this crime after all. You made one teeny tiny big fuck up. And what was that? You fell. You fell in love. You let yourself go and let yourself fall into the never-ending bliss of ignorance forever to be a slave to the magical madness called love. You fell in love with someone not from here. Not this planet, not this time, space or fucking galaxy. You fell in love with a goddess, an angel, an immortal, a fucking deity. But you were there too. We both fell. We both fell in love. I didn't make the decision to hand myself over and surrender to love. I don't have love. No fucking love. I come from the abyss where there's only chaos, my friend. I am the god of darkness and evil. Now. There's a sticky, gooey feeling inside me that's warm and it's cold and I can't get fucking rid of it. This heart is not mine. It belongs to someone or something from a different fucking realm. And you knew. And you knew it was too good to be true. You knew she wouldn't be here forever. That she would have to leave one day and that there was nothing, nothing you could do about it. Don't you remember? I whispered it in your ear. Tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> You're a fucking liability, man. You're slowing us down. If I die, you die. Isn't that the point? 
Life is a train heading one way, and I am another heading the other way. All I bring is destruction and chaos, and maybe, and just maybe, if I collide hard enough, I can send us back to wherever the fuck it is we came from. And just maybe, I can see her again. Yeah, I think I'll take things into my own hands now. I mean, who the fuck's in charge here anyway? Who's calling the shots? Who decides? Nobody. So I'm making a call. I'm the one in charge. I'm God. So you're willing to give up all of this, the madness, the rock and roll, the drinking, just to see her again? The drugs don't work anymore. I'm out of options. You're going to pull the trigger and kill us both? And what if we go to the place? Tell me. Gets the girl. Thank you. Who knows if killing us both is going to work anyway? I mean, what if there is nowhere after this? What if it's all just flesh and bone? I said I'm thinking. You know, if there is something after this, after all, heaven, paradise, nirvana, if it does exist, we can't both have it. Save your breath. Scallywag, you're fucking nuts, a lunatic, and I mean that in the most unheroic, boring way possible. You lack passion, you lack fire, I'll never join you and become one. I can't, can't do this anymore. Was it worth it? <coughs> Was it worth falling in love? <coughs>